Hello, uh, today I'm gonna talk about a film that I've already talked about before, um, you know, giving my overall thoughts, but uh, this is sort of like a, you know, just a sort of celebration of uh, the anniversary of this particular film, and that is, of course, Friday the 13th, Part 3, in 3D. Um, so, uh, I've already talked about this, given my thoughts on the film, um, and of course, you know, this is the movie that gave, uh, Jason Voorhees his hockey mask, um, now also, um, this film, um, came out 40 years ago today, um, hence why this is out on a Saturday instead of Friday. Um, came out on a, uh, uh, Friday, August 13th, 1982. And um, yeah, there was a, in a, a full year without a, another Friday the 13th movie until the fourth film and um the reason i'm talking about this one big, uh, again is because you know for the 40th anniversary of the original yeah i talked about that and also seeing it on the big screen uh for the second film you know i talked about all of these films you know after uh, uh re-watching the big uh screen factory box set that i got in 2020 and I talked about the second film, which came out, you know, the year after the original. Um, so that was 40, for that's 40th, that film's 40th anniversary. So this film, I thought, you know, I should at least continue with that, uh, especially since, you know, I, uh, um, you know, I particularly enjoy the first four, you know, those four films had an excellent story um though the first eight films really tell us one massive story you know it's that was back when paramount owned the franchise outright and then now you know the rights got sold off and then now it's you know and there's a lot of stuff still going on with that even though it seems like everything is all finished and done overall it's just future of the franchise don't know what will happen with that um but um yeah th this um again i i find it to be a very good film it's fine um you know some of the acting isn't the best um um though for some of these you know the kind of films the acting isn't always top notch um no, the first film and second and fourth film. It's very, pretty good uh, acting, you know. You know, fairly fitting with the characters. And I guess you could say the same thing here, though. I, uh, people do point out at certain points how uh, certain actors or actresses don't always convey the like best emotions or kind of overact or uh, anything of the sort at certain scenes and you know um, and those scenes have already been discussed uh, quite a bit you know um, but you know at the end of it all I don't really uh, for this kind of franchise and these films you know I don't completely uh, hold that against uh this franchise or this film in particular because you know the friday the 13th films seem to know what they are they don't try to really uh, like too often try to do anything that it isn't though of course as the franchise went on longer you know it tried to do interesting stuff to keep it fresh and everything but then you know that didn't always play <laughs> the way 
that was hoped when those films were made. Um, but this uh, film, you know, in 3D, of course, and, you know, which made it a, a huge money maker because, you know, got stuff flying out at the screen being like, you know, uh, like fire pokers and spears after being shot from a spear gun and uh, eyes popping out and all sorts of stuff. It's, um, even though the, 3D itself isn't um, the best uh, necessarily, you know, and how just how obvious certain things were done just so to achieve the 3D effect, which again also does contribute to some of the acting. Like, you know, the acting wasn't uh, a complete, you know, uh, like importance, you know, the 3D and making sure the certain stuff that's going to be in 3D. Um, that was what was important, but technical stuff was more important as opposed to acting. And so, you know, as a result, some of the acting, you know, which could have been, you know, improved with uh, when it kind of came to like the direction of, at certain points, you know, if they came and be like, or if the director came and it was like, you know, I'm going to make sure like the actors and actresses are all good and you know they're delivering good line reads you know in like the rehearsal or whatever they do to prepare for like a scene or something you know that way for your know, action and hopefully you know a few takes or so will be uh, done and have a good amount to choose from um and then just choose the best obviously and put that in the film uh it's the only film also in 3D um, because 3D was like a, obviously it was like a fad of the times and uh, that seems to be a case, the case a lot. Uh, you know, in the 50s, that was huge for a moment, then it went away, it became huge again in the 80s and then end of the 2000s, 2010s, uh, 3D was a thing, man, that's like gone away. Um, I know Avatar 2 is coming out this year, and that's going to be in 3D. Uh, no clue if that's even going to resurge uh, people's interest in 3D again. Maybe not, but uh, that will be in 3D, I'm pretty sure. Um, but again, I've never really been one to... Uh, see 3d all that well um you know has nothing necessarily even to do with like any specific eyesight you know i have one wearing glasses here and there but um even before then when i was my eyesight was fine when i was very young and saw some stuff in 3d and granted it was like wasn't the best kind of 3d it was like the red and blue but even then some stuff was very blah um Some stuff would work, would come out at the, off the screen, and other things, not so much. Um, but, you know, regardless of my thoughts on 3D as a whole, you know, this film uh, was hugely successful, and it made people in the industry, you know, do what they could to try and make as many films in 3D and, you know, make them decent enough to where people would go back over and over to the theater so that ticket sales would, uh, you know, go up. Uh, and, you know, uh, it's interesting how with this film, you know, it did had that kind of impact hockey mask and um also just the overall uh oh the, the 3d and the hockey mask and then just you know just picking up where it left off you know that was something that's really 
interesting, though that does also kind of, with the title, Friday the 13th, it's like, well, is it really Friday the 13th anymore? If it's like the next day or so, you know, Jason's still there, and he just gets up and walks off the wounds he's got, and then, you know, gets a new outfit, and, you know, and goes on his killing spree again. Um, like on Saturday the 14th, and maybe into even uh, Sunday the uh, 15th, and so, and of course, that continues with part four. Um, but, you know, that's that's something that people have discussed, but it, um, I think it is interesting how, you know, it, some of these franchises don't pick up right after the last film ended. You know, they just, uh, you know, it's a new story. It's like maybe like a year or two later, then some of this stuff is going to happen again. Like the people are going to get killed in this area. All that jazz. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think this is a film. It's not perfect in the franchise, but not bad either. You know, it's a very fine film. Um, right in the middle of what I see as the real uh, excellent uh, set of films in the franchise. Um, and I know that people are the biggest fans of, you know, horror in general, and those who are also uh, fans of horror have certain favorites, you know. Like, there's Halloween, there's Scream, Nightmare on Elm Street, Child's Play, um, Hellraiser, you know, Hannibal Lecter, you know, films, um, Saw, uh, Leprechaun, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and, of course, you know, Friday the 13th, which is, of course, my favorite uh, film uh, franchise when it comes to, like, horror overall. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a video of its uh, 40th anniversary. Very good film. Um, uh, not the best, in my opinion. But not the worst either. Um, and I've already talked about what I would consider like to be like the worst of the franchise. But even then, you know, I think those films are still fairly uh, uh, entertaining to one extent or another. Uh, Richard Brooker is excellent as Jason. May he rest in peace. Um, yeah, it is a very interesting film. Uh, well done with what they were... Uh, trying to achieve and they did it well and uh, that's really it um, uh, before I go if you want to get my books which I've shown before you can do so in the uh, description uh, of the video there's my link tree and you can find all that stuff um, yeah western in my short stories book um, and yeah, I uh, hope all of you are doing well. Hope all of you are having a great day and a great weekend. And I hope your week was great. And I hope next week will be great uh, for you. And until next time, I will see you all later.